Hey everybody, Rhythm Bastard here, and I'm going to tell you all the fun I had at PAX East 2013. Okay, so this is the plane, just as we were about to take off, and it was so cold, it was like 60 degrees outside. Keep in mind, I live in Florida. I room with uh, the Ozone, who is the guy responsible for putting Pac-Man Fever and St. Elmo's Fire into the Rock Band Network, and he's watching the greatest show, Dino Hunter MD, which coincidentally has the best soundtrack ever, available at rhythmbaster.bandcap.net now. Pay what you want, yada, yada, yada. So this is what Boston looks like. It's like Brooklyn in city form. This is John Drake of Harmonix presenting at the Brattle Theater Rock Band Night. Uh, so me and Paolo, you know, aka Arcanon on the left, and Jeff Webster on the right. Three of us and Owen played California Uber House by the Dead Kennedys, and we totally rocked the house, and we got all the ladies, and it was so awesome. So here's another shot of uh, John Drake, and to his left is Eric Pope, also from Harmonix, and he is dressed as a hipster because, as I mentioned, Boston. It's Brooklyn in city form. And this ninja shows up to awkwardly stare at the TV. And this girl's all like, what the fuck? He's going to awkwardly stare at her TV and completely ruin rock band night. But it's okay because the Justice League was there. There's Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Superman, Robin. Hey, by the way, were there ever like two Wonder Womans is the same way? There were like two flashes and more than two Green Lanterns. I, I, I'm not that big into DC lore. Representing Marvel is Jeff Green, formerly of EA, wearing a Hulk outfit. Representing Oni Press on the far left is some guy dressed as Todd Ingram from the Scott Pilgrim series. And in the center is John Drake representing Image Comics, who looks like a hideous, ugly, shambling zombie from The Walking Dead. Okay, so this is the whitest guy ever. And over the chorus of those guys in the back playing Radiohead's Creep, he, he, he and that girl progressively fell in love and broke up and then got back together again where he rubbed his face in her boobies. You know, it, it was a really touching story and Nerdless about to play Ocean Avenue by Yellow Card. If there was a bunch of natty ice on the floor, I think it would be the most bro bro thing ever. This is the Boston Rail System. It looks like every abandoned railway from every video game ever. This is Anime Cow. He is not impressed by the food at this diner. So this is outside of the convention center. This is inside the lobby of the convention center. And this is the expo hall inside the convention center where there are so many people and so many things. And oh my God, there's just so much to do. And this is a very rare sighting on the expo hall. It's called Empty Space. See, you see that guy in the middle there with the cell phone. He could like stick his arms out and nobody would be able to do anything about it because they have enough space to just walk around him. Okay, so when Anime Cow first came to our room, uh, he only brought enough money to pay for his share. So what he did was he got his binder full of Magic the Gathering cards and flipped them. And within like 20 minutes, he had enough to pay for like food and stuff over the entire weekend. It was incredible. These wooden things are called scallops. They're, they're little uh, sculptures that you put on the edges of playing cards so you can build little structures out of them or you can build hats. It's like Team Fortress 2. Speaking of hats, you can't see them, but this guy was wearing a Mario fedora. Mario fedora. Let that sink into your brain. Mario fedora. Maybe he and the guy in this utility kilt should totally share fashion tips. Uh-oh, Enforcer, you better watch out. There's two assassins right behind you. So this is the handheld lounge, and pretty much Owen was going nuts street passing people the whole time with the 3DS, and it was just one giant orgy form. So another weird thing about Paxis is that I found actually more people in Taskmaster cosplay than I did Deadpool cosplay. It was the exact opposite of New York City Comic Con, where I'd pretty much run into those guys every two steps. Speaking of Marvel, here's the Iron Patriot, trying to get my attention by shining a light in my face. This guy was also trying to get my attention, but, you know, he's clearly turned away from me, and he was wearing Christmas lights. Not as bold as you, Iron Patriot. This is a new card game I learned how to play at PAX East called Cards Against Humanity. It's like apples to apples, but horrible. Come on, Balloonicorn, let's fly away from that portal turret. Come on. 
in, in fact, the portal turret isn't really doing anything. I think I'm pretty safe. Oh, and this is a baby at the Dance Central booth. Gone. This is a couple in matching Firefly steampunk outfits dancing. This is Handsome Jack and a girl who Jesus loves, I guess, because she's a gamer. And here's two of the nerdiest guys dancing to Gangnam Style. You know, the thing is, I only heard it like three times waiting 15 minutes in line. Okay, so this is Baird hanging out with the Ghostbusters. Uh, I don't know how Proton Packs would fare against Locust, but hey, who am I to judge? This is the line to get into the Mega 64 panel where we shouted for like four minutes straight because I think some guy wanted it. This is Poketron. Get it? It's like Pokemon, but Tron. Poketron. Uh, better roll that Katamari just a little bit bigger, Prince. We are very disappointed. Okay, so this is Team Fortress 2 in a nutshell. I'm glad that Red and Blue finally came to a ceasefire after all these years. Here's the medic and the blue engineer shaking on it, but here comes a red spy ready to break it up. Thanks a lot, red spy. Anyway, this is a girl and a friend. This is Gothic Lolita busting out some moves at Dance Central 3. And now, interesting story about the guy on the left. So I was in line waiting on the free play stage and this guy comes. So the this wizard guy comes up to me and he's all like, yes, ah, yes, I have plus five to dancing. And I decide, to, OK, I'm going to I'm going to play with him a little bit. And I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, totally, dude. I got the plus two Chuck Taylors of Wicked Moves. And then he's all like, I don't need the plus two Chuck Taylors of Wicked Moves. I got the plus five to dancing. So anyway, I go up on stage, probably going by himself, whatever. Then suddenly he comes on stage and challenges me to a dance off. And I'm like, all right, I'll bust out the Cupid. Sorry wizard guy with the ass beating you just received yeah that's not the kind of doctor that's going to help you boosh oh and this is a little kid dancing to party rock anthem this is an assassin's creed teaching us all how to jerk and to love and to jerk while he loves and to love while he jerks this is the requisite dead mouse cosplay since it is at a convention and blank faced zelda ghost armor lady Oh, I love that game. This is Assassin's Creed 4 at Black Flag. I wonder if Henry Rollins is going to do a voice. Seriously, Assassin's Creed 4 people get Henry Rollins to do a voice in this game and Des Cardina too. This is the Mega 64 booth. Yeah, I got a DVD from them and also I got to see Derek and Garrett cover Helter Skelter with a pair of inflatable tubes. This is the jam space at PAX East set up by MAGFest. See the girl in the center there? She's playing the trumpet, and there's a guy on keys, and there's a guy on guitar and bass. You can play whatever instrument you want. And I requested tub thumping, but they did not play tub thumping. Then we're going to listen to some tub thumping now. Anyway, this is a first-person view of me watching Paul and Storm. Yeah, that's right. You saw my crotch in there, ladies. And this is goodbye to Boston. So... That was my trip to Boston. I sure had a whole lot of fun. And definitely going back next year. Mario Fedora.